Hi everyone, this is the Dispatch for Thursday, April 16th. The readings today begin with Psalm 16. This is a beautiful psalm. It's a psalm of contentment, a psalm of gratitude. The psalmist says, My heart is glad and my soul rejoices. My body also rests secure. There is a, a level of trust here between the psalmist and God that extends beyond just the heart, but also to the body, to the physical life situation of, uh, of the psalmist. Uh, the psalmist says, you show me the path of life. There's our connection to Easter right there. You show me the path of life. Now we turn to, the, uh, uh, to another Old Testament text, the Song of Solomon. This may be one you have not spent time with before. Um, it's also called the Song of Songs, and it's a love song, um, and sometimes a bit of a graphic one. Uh, but here we see some, some beautiful language about the winter passing and the spring coming. Again, here's our tie to Easter. It says, now the winter is past, the rain is over and gone, the flowers appear on the earth, the time of singing has come. Beautiful statement of uh, what Easter means to us. And then finally, uh, we stay in Colossians for our New Testament text, Colossians 4, just a few verses there. Paul is continuing his exhortations to the church. One of the interesting things he says here is that it is because of the mystery of Christ that he is in prison. This is a unique phrase that Paul uses a few times. He doesn't use it a lot, um, but he uses it enough uh, to, to uh, signal to us that it, it is a clue to how he thinks about the gospel. And, and what I think he's talking about when he says the mystery of Christ is uh, the fact that, that he preaches Christ crucified. The mystery of Christ is that he is a crucified Messiah. Elsewhere he will say that this is foolishness to the Greeks and a stumbling block to Jews, but to those who believe it is the power of God. That for Paul is the mystery of Christ. And he's asking his church to pray for him so that he can communicate that mystery clearly. And it's all buried in that, uh, that very simple phrase, the mystery of Christ. And that's what has him in prison. I've never caught on to that before. It's a fascinating little bit that he uh, plugs into his exhortations to the church here. That's all for our readings. I want to ask you uh, if you are able to today to um, record your voice for our worship service this Sunday. I have received some, but not as many as the previous couple of weeks. I could use some more voices for worship this Sunday. Um, and then also I would ask you to pray for Ron Stranod. Ron is showing some mild symptoms that, that, that uh, appear uh, or, or uh, resemble uh, COVID-19 symptoms. They're not sure yet, and they are mild, but of course the Strenaut family is worried. He had been caring for Earl, who uh, did have COVID-19, among other complications. So please pray for Ron and pray for the rest of the Strenaut family during this time of heightened anxiety for them. That is all for today. We will see you tomorrow.